what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel another day another information to be passed here and yeah please no judgments on my hair <laughs> please be 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 kind be nice anyway yeah um i've been getting a lot of questions especially on my tiktok um and that's why i keep directing them or directing you guys here it's only a way because i can explain it further and uh, break it down with a lot of information rather than on tiktok where i have to talk quickly and give less information and guys it took a lot to do this research i don't get paid enough <laughs> but anyway i have a lot of time and i enjoy um i enjoy this kind of it's like a hobby so so sad i know <laughs> Anyway, so one of the main questions asked for those who um, have been uh, having problems being au pairs, that is they are above 30 years or they just don't want to be au pairs and they are looking to be caregivers in Luxembourg. One, I have talked to many people who uh, live or work in Gulf areas, you know, Qatar, Dubai, Saudi Arabia and all that. And most of you or most of them were saying they have been saving and can really afford to move in Luxembourg. And they were asking what are some of these procedures. And I was like, okay, let me do a research. And yeah, Luxembourg is the place to be in this case if you want to work as a caregiver, which I will go down to it now. <laughs> yeah, as you all know, as I specified in, the, in some of my other videos luxembourg is a small country located in the western side of europe very tiny sometimes when i used to google it it it, it didn't use to equina jonesha kwa map yeah europe but yeah it's a landlocked country in the middle surrounded by belgium um germany and france and yeah parts of it netherlands on the other side but yeah it's a very nice country because it's small and not overpopulated. Also, it's known for its rich culture. What I talked about, the castles and everything. And also, it's beautiful landscape, you know, with mountains, hills and rivers. That aside, now it's home to so many um, of international families who are in need of their children and elderly people or elderly relatives taken care of of which this comes to you if you think you're qualified and you think you can do it apply so number one if you've identified that you're ready to become a caregiver in luxembourg first thing you need is a work permit work permit everyone is asking me how long does the work permit take? Do you need a lot of things? This is your answer. So the work permit or the a valid work permit in Luxembourg can be obtained from the Luxembourg Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs. What do you need to be eligible to apply for a work permit? One, a valid passport, a clean criminal, criminal record. <laughs> you need to be experienced as a caregiver. If you are in Gulf, no na chunga watoto, or you're doing household things, this is the thing for you. You also need a paper or a job offer from the family that you have gotten in Luxembourg. So you just don't need word of mouth. You actually need a paper. And yeah, this, uh, you can meet families uh, from, you know, agencies or you can contact them directly uh, from, you know, online, FB groups and all those places. Now you have a work permit. What is the next thing to do? You have a work permit. The next step is finding a place to live in. This can be done through agencies, which um, I will research and write in the description below. Or you can always look for them in au pair groups. Uh, not au pair groups, sorry. Yes, au pair groups. There are some called Luxembourg experts, au pair and parents or parents in Luxembourg. Go and join those groups and you can see them actually posting um vacancies for houses and yeah i will not lie to you the rent in luxembourg is serious it's serious <laughs> let me not discourage you for now but um you can actually find cheap accommodation sharing accommodation apartments and all that and you can always look in places which are a bit um away from the city what do you need to do after finding your place you have a work permit next you need to open a bank account and register with a with the local authorities there's so many banks in luxembourg 
which you can find online. Uh, uh, one of the one I know which is very common is called BGL BNP Paribas. Paribas. So for if you come to Europe, you will know and you will always know that you need to book an appointment. So for you to open an account with them or any other bank, here you need to book an appointment online where you will go, provide your details and yeah, you'll be ready to open your account because payment is always done directly to your bank account. Another thing you, sh you should know as a caregiver, you are responsible of taking care of children or the elderly. That is in case uh, you get to take care of the elderly. And um, your main responsibility include preparing meals, which is almost the same as the au pair, accompanying the children to their appointments, accompanying them to school, helping them with homework, and basically, you know, providing general assistant and company. <laughs> That's what you do as a au pair or a caregiver. For au pair, most of this information I've already given in the other videos. Now I'm focusing more on the caregiver part of which they usually, they go hand in hand. Now, the second or uh, the fifth, uh, sorry, the fifth point or what I would like you to know and what people are asking is what are the salaries of caregivers? Yes, yes, yes. One, it depends. It depends uh, and it varies from the qualifications or what you need, the family that is hiring you, and most importantly, the the experience you have, experience with taking care of the children, experience with cleaning and all the things, organization. However, Luxembourg pays more than the actual caregiver pay that you would expect, and it's higher than all the other countries generally and they have uh you know additional benefits like boarding and and boarding so yeah that's a if that's a plus for you come so that aside let's talk about the pros and the cons of being a caregiver in luxembourg let's start with the pros of course one of the big pros is the you have the opportunity to live and work in a foreign country isn't that nice? You get to engage with people, you get the cultural exchange, you make new friends. And yeah, you also get to have the skills and you get the experience of uh, the childcare of experience. If you need it somewhere else, at least you got it from that. You get to Im also improve your language skills. Uh, for example, here in Luxembourg, um, they have three national languages, which is um, uh, Luxembourgish. German and French so you can always practice one of your language or you can go and study it or you can do it online and if the children need you to teach them uh, English you can always help them with that and yeah so and also you'll be gaining a work experience for that matter and uh, for au pairs these skills can be very valuable for you in the future in your career path you know so yeah and at the same time you're making new friends if you're somebody who uh, you like being around in the social environment and just engaging you know um yeah those are the main pros for the cons yeah being a caregiver can take a lot of time let's be honest taking care of children is not something that you can write down that there's hours there's always some things that always don't go uh, according to plan hence as a con you as a caregiver do not have a lot of time so it can be very limiting if you want to go and explore if you want your time alone because now if you're a caregiver it means it's full time you're working full time eight to five and you have only the weekends off so think about it carefully if you are a living caregiver or you're just an au pair this one yeah, involves or entails you living around you know the family and you're living around the family space and it can be very hard to, for you to find privacy because you're always around the house children sometimes don't know what privacy means so you can have a lack of privacy when you're living inside the house of the family some of you are lucky can get you can get something outside the house you know a house which is outside the house which is your own uh living space which is you know good for you what are these places or places you can find jobs as a caregiver uh part of these links i have shared in my tiktok my tiktok is whitney sparkles as of all my other social media platforms it's just whitney 
sparkles yeah but i'll still share them here mm, very good part is linkedin dot lu not the normal linkedin we are used to Link, linkedin dot lu again there is indeed indeed dot lu lu when i say lu i mean l u to stand for luxembourg so when you are in this online uh portals always remember to type dot lu and also glass door jobs kindly sign uh sign up for their newsletter so that you can be getting daily updates of their jobs because they always post these jobs every time every time and aside from that there is one called home help homehelp.lu which they're just specifically for caregivers or living nannies and everything just specifically there's privileged services and babysitting.lu so all these are places or websites where you can find uh caregiver jobs or family actually looking for for a caregiver uh whether it be for taking care of children taking care of an elderly uh relative and all that if all of those websites do not uh, resonate with you you can always go to facebook again and join the groups join the parent groups uh luxembourg caregivers living nannies name it groups once you type luxembourg it always suggests so join 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 all of them <clears throat> and you can always filter your search by location or some keywords depending on what you are <coughs> what you are searching for adverts for luxembourg uh, caregivers if you are not satisfied with that and you are not lucky with finding other families for au pairs you always have um, you have online uh, websites which are specifically for au pairs and we have agencies in luxembourg which provides families for you and they can take you through um the visa application they can help you at least get a language and all that so um common agency for au pair in luxembourg is called alpha omega au pair agency here in luxembourg if you google it you'll see there's a woman there who's she's i don't know if she's cameroon or congo congolian <laughs> she's very nice but for her she does things differently she has to get to know you inside and out so you'll have a lot of video chats before she can actually match you to a family but eventually if you have time and you can wait hit her up what are the costs related to being a caregiver and actually relocating to luxembourg as a caregiver of course there are other costs that not hidden costs but costs that you need to be aware of one is the airfare which can vary from where you're coming from and uh, it's not cheap but depending if there's off peak times there's peak there's you can actually find some really cool deals so the airfare if you're not an au pair and you don't have uh, a family that can take care of that you have to go in your pockets another thing is uh, visa application fees yeah sometimes they can be high sometimes low depending on you depending on also where you are applying from another thing is the medical and travel insurances for a pair i don't think you need it but for caregiver it's mandatory uh you're also required to have documents such as the pluris clearance certificate and these ones also need you to use money to get them and also the language test you need to have money for that and yeah agency fee if you are using an agency that need you to join with a certain fee and beware of scammers beware of scammers there are some people who just claim to be agencies which can place you with families but in reality they are not they just want to have your money so be careful just find the ones that are legit and you can see their reviews or success stories that's a good point to start to know if they are real or not uh, do your research I am a believer of researching before you actually make this decision that you are relocating. Make sure it's the right move for you. Make sure it's the right for move for you. Take a look of all those uh, website, take a look at what people are saying, take a look of the country you want to go and once you are sure then you can do all these processes and you'll be happy. I'm guessing sometimes this weather or this winter or negatives uh degrees is not for everybody you know <laughs> i'm saying this from experience so yeah do your research and if you follow these processes well you'll be in your next journey to a new land and uh, getting all these benefits so yeah i know i haven't uh 
uh, really said how much a caregiver earns as salary. But for living, I, I'm thinking is from 2100 euros there. I don't want to share information I am not sure of. But once I do, I will put it in my description box. But for here, unskilled workers do not earn low, lower than 1500 euros monthly. So that is a really good, it's a really good deal if you are man solo like me. <laughs> you can find a house for maybe 900. Then the others is for just food, shopping and savings, you know, and some small bills here and there. So uh, with that being said, that's the video for caregivers. And I hope it reaches everyone. Share to your friends and your family members in the Gulf. And uh, yeah, if this is something they can do let them do it. So bye guys. Onwards to the next video.